Hey yo, what's up? This is Joe Baldi of the Republican. Eto mga tol, pagkatapos natin panuorin yung Agarta, manood naman tayo ngayon ng nakakatakot. <laughs> dahil para, dahil doon sa mga kapatid natin na mahilig naman manood ng mga nakakatakot na videos. Eto, magre-react ulit tayo. Uh, bagong video ni Sir Nox, no? Kaka-upload, upload lang nito. Isang araw pa lamang ang nakakaraan. So, wag na natin patagalin to mga tol. Muli! Kung bago ka pa lamang dito sa ating channel, huwag mong kakalimutan na mag-subscribe. Click mo na rin ang notification bell kung trip mo yung mga ganitong klaseng video. Top 5 Ghosts Caught on Camera Child's Play Child's Play Facebook user Ashley Hammond believes that throughout her life, she's always had something paranormal attached to her. Oh. She says that no matter where she goes, spooky things always happen. When Ashley moves to a new home in Utah, she starts to see her children walking up and down the staircase on random occasions. Oh, normal naman Now, yun. usually, Ashley's children walking up and down the stairs would be completely normal. Tama. But you see, this happens when Ashley's children are asleep, or sometimes when they're not even at home Ooh, at all. Doppelganger Ashley yun. believes that she might be seeing something supernatural that is mimicking the appearance of her children. Now Ashley wants to prove that she is not just imagining these strange phenomena. So she buys a security camera and points it at the staircase. Then one night when all of her children are in bed asleep, this happens. Oh, take me in. You don't become immortal by making deals with angels. You gotta go to the other parents for that. Gago, nakakatakot. There. May umaakyat nga The camera captures a dark figure with glowing eyes that seems to walk up the staircase. A figure that has no visible lower body. Oh, so, what do you think this could be? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Now this next video was shared to the internet without a source. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. The video shows what looks like security camera footage from a seemingly average home. But then something happens that's downright creepy. Oo! Oh. Pucha kitang kita sa camera, naglalakad yung bata. A small translucent childlike figure seems to walk slowly through the living room. Since there's no source, I have no idea whether this footage is real or fake. But this creepy little ghost child is definitely spooky. Mm -hmm. Monique Chacon is spending a fun day with her son at a park in California when suddenly the little boy begins to act very bizarre. When you're baby, na to lalabigla yung bata. Parang may nakita siya. Naghukay. Laga, gumina dampot na cellphone. Out of nowhere, the boy just suddenly seems to stop and stare at someone or something that we can't see. Mm -hmm. Then, without a moment's hesitation, he drops to the ground and starts digging furiously with his hands and finds a random phone from underneath the heavy pile of leaves. After watching the footage back later, Monique believes that something supernatural might have instructed her son to find that phone. Hi guys, I'm just giving an update. Parang inutusan yung anak niya, no? Parang yung anak niya may nakikitang mga, mga entity na hindi nakikita ng pangkaraniwang mata. Tapos parang inutusan yung bata, o kayin mo yan, o kayin mo yan, may cellphone yan. Ano yun nandu sa cellphone? but inutusan pa yung bata ang hukayin yung cellphone? Ano nang yan? Update on what happened to the phone? Mm -hmm. Well, I threw it away. Oo, puti, tapo um, mo yun. I didn't think anything at the time of when I threw it away um, that I shouldn't have until I watched the video. Um, after watching the video, it didn't sit right with me. It kind of um, gave me the creeps, actually. But um, there really is no story time. The phone was broken. The face was 
cracked. There was a battery on top of the face, like in the front of the face, but it was broken. So I threw it away. Uh, that's it. There's really no story time. He just played and um, I kept recording him. So that's what I do. I record all my kids when they're playing baseball, football at the park. I'm that mom <laughs> that records every minute and second of their lives. Um, but that's it. So parang sinasabi niya, hey, hindi yan scripted kasi normal lang naman na binivideo ko yung anak ko whenever na nakikita ko sila naglalaro, nag enjoy Sabi niya nga pag nagpo-football, baseball, mga anak niya siguro. Tapos eto, nakita niya yung... So, nakita niya anak niya, nag- naglalaro. So binivideo niya hanggang sa yun nga, mahukunan ng camera na parang napahinto yung bata at may nakikita, no? Anong creepy nun. Sana tinanong niya anak niya, ano yung nakita mo? Ano yung sinabi niya sa'yo? Hinukoy mo yung cellphone. It's every minute and second of their lives. Um, but that's it. So, unfortunately, Monique threw the phone away, leaving us all to wonder just what was on that broken phone. Now, I have to say that this is one of the strangest videos I've ever seen. But what do you think? Did a spirit tell the little boy to find the phone? Or Creepy. just what is going on here? You tell me. The Campbell Haunting. This next video is from Paranormal Investigators and Brothers Josh, Sean, and Rocky Foreman. On their YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV Series, they set out to investigate the abandoned company housing of the Youngstown Sheet and Tube Company in Campbell, Ohio. The area, consisting of 146 apartments, was built in 1918 to serve as housing for the workers at the Youngstown Steel Factory. Okay. In 1977, on a day now known as Black Monday, the steel company, without warning, just closed its doors, instantly firing over 5,000 workers Ooh, with no warning. News we've received this morning from Youngstown Sheet and Tube is just the worst possible news that we as your elected public officials could have received. These workers were left with nothing and deeply in debt. Sadly, some of them saw no way out. These workers tragically took their own lives right inside their company oh. apartments. Slowly but surely, the apartment complexes were abandoned and left to rot. Now it goes without saying that the abandoned homes have a dark history and are believed to be haunted. Visitors, renovators, and tenants all claim to have witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. Yes, there's spirits here. There's sad spirits here. They lost everything and they have unfinished business and they don't know what to do. All those years, all those people that came in and lost their lives in here because they overdosed. There's a lot of ghosts here. The Paranormal Nightmare team it. intends to find out whether the claims are true. The Foreman brothers split up to cover more area. Rocky is alone and goes into an apartment where the decaying body of a man was found. Ooh. Josh and Sean set out to explore a different residence on the property. So Josh and Sean are alone when they suddenly hear something very disturbing. Somebody's here, let me know. Hi, my name is Rocky. Can you tell me your name? Are you in this house? Hello. Did you hear that? Dude, I swear that sounded like somebody yelled Josh. I thought it was Rocky. Josh and Sean hear someone calling Josh's name from somewhere outside. Come on. Oh, man, no. The two brothers believe that the voice is their brother Rocky calling out to them. But they quickly realize that it's not him. Inside the other apartment, Rocky is completely unaware of what is happening and is busy asking questions using a spirit box. Now, this isn't the only time this creepy phenomena occurs. That night, Josh and Rocky are outside, while this time, Sean is inside on the upper floor doing mm -hmm. a solo investigation. Again, they hear someone calling out. It's like when you're inside, you don't hear anything outside. Scream. Oh. What's wrong? What happened? Nothing. What are you doing? Why are you yelling screaming? I wasn't.
we were sitting outside on that front porch and it sounded just like your voice yelling scream tinagaya mga boses nila they're yelling for us to come help no i was just, it sounded just like your voice i was sat up here asking questions i had the camera on me the whole time when you guys walked out Josh and Rocky believe that they are hearing their brother Sean calling out for help, and they hurry inside. But it wasn't Sean. Josh is intrigued by the unexplained cries and decides to do a solo investigation of his own in the upstairs apartment. Again, he captures something creepy. My name is Josh. Can you please come in here and talk to me? Right there. Whoa. Okay, that was loud. I'm not a night vision. Is that you? Night vision by an old flashlight. Nothing worse than being a creepy house. I'll show you guys what I see. That's all I see is complete darkness. Now, even though they didn't know it at the time, that's not all that the Foreman brothers captured during their investigation of the Youngstown Steelworker Apartments. When they get back home, they review their footage of an interview with the apartment complex's redeveloper, Timothy Sokolov. And you've taken the undertaking of trying to save all these buildings. Yep. 14 years worth of it. <laughs> In the footage, they noticed that on the abandoned lot behind Timothy, they accidentally caught something downright chilling. Ooh. And uh, the one brother answered, and yet there were legs sticking out from behind the door because the other brother dropped dead, and they, he just left him there on the floor. Like, there was nothing to it. Oh, God. A pale translucent figure appears in the background behind Timothy. The figure moves around strangely and behaves in a very abnormal way. Whoever or whatever this is doesn't look like a normal person and seems to be ghostly white with no prominent features. So did the paranormal nightmare team capture the ghosts of the mill workers calling out from beyond? And who or what? Is this? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. You can watch this entire investigation with interviews and even more possible paranormal sightings over on the YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV Series. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Out of left field. For over a decade, Jim Barari worked hard to find the perfect home for her wife, Heather, and their six-year-old daughter, Ray. She eventually found an amazing colonial home in Pennsylvania that was built in the 1700s. The house sits on a 50-acre plot of farmland that also has a large renovated barn and two cottages. But soon after the renovations were finished, strange unexplained events begin to occur on the property. The family began to hear terrifying noises and bangs and even started to see odd shadow-like figures in the middle of the night. They decide to install security cameras in and around their home. And late one night, their outdoor security camera captures something chilling.
Sayang malabo lang yung camera eh, no? Puche. Pero ano yan? Oh, biglang nawala. Someone or something can be seen limping along behind Jen's home. Whatever it is, it makes a very eerie and unsettling moan or screech. At first, Jen isn't sure what to believe and hopes it's just one of her friends or neighbors playing a very strange prank. But over the course of the next three months, the activity becomes more and more unexplainable as the events intensify inside Jen's home. And now, whatever is going on, seems to start to affect her daughter too. Ako, yan ang mahirap pag naapektuhan na yung bata. Gumagalo yung gitara. Don't even. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, like I'm sorry that I curse and... Okay. Okay, can you stop? Nakakatakot sa bahay nyo na kanang yan. Okay, please stop! Naka lang yung anak niya. Shit, putik. Nakakatakot. Objects move around and fall on their own, and Jen finds her daughter standing on her bed in the middle of the night, just staring vacantly at nothing. In the middle of the Eventually, night. Eventually, Jen becomes convinced that she's dealing with real paranormal activity. She records another video to tell about the unexplainable events that she is experiencing. What happens next is absolutely oh, terrifying. Pa pala yun, the pa. last two nights have been fucking awful. I'm gonna just update you guys really quickly. Um, I'm in the barn house right now. I'm here alone. I'm hearing constantly. Last night I watched like a bald man walk out of the fucking pond. I'll show you where it is. It's it was fucking insane. That's what I keep hearing. And I'm home alone. Hello. Home alone. Siya wala ng sama. Still, laki ng bahay niya. Sa taas. Can you stop? F*** out! Oh my god, that's creepy. This clock here scared the f*** out of me. Be here with me, like, whatsoever. Hello? Putres na yan. Nakakatakot yung bahay. I don't know. And my reflection is creeping. Ay putik na. Sa likod na niya. Jesus Christ. Ala. Jesus Christ. You guys saw that, right? I'm not bugging. Like, here's my reflection. Na Nakalive siya? That's just my hair. Okay. Hold on. I need to watch this. Balikan nga natin, putik na yan. I'm not bugging. The reflection's creeping. Ano? Ow. Oh, tiyan na yan, no? Jesus Christ. May tumayo sa likod niya. Jesus na Christ. Na you guys saw that, right? I'm not bugging. Like, here's my reflection. That's just my hair. Okay. Hold on, I need to watch this. Guys, I wanted to show you the f***ing pond, but please tell me you see that. Sorry. There's something. It looks like the old man is coming out, I swear to Oy, God. Oh, may dumaan. What is that? Jesus, and there's a light out in the f***ing God garage. Anong ang laki ng bahay, putik, parang puzzle. This is so creepy. Parang maze. Hmm. Anong ang laki-laki ng bahay mo? Pwede may multo. Wag na lang. Anong yan? Oh my Ayoko. god, it's okay. It's okay. Holy shit. Alis na ako niyan. Ano sasakyan, no? Honestly. Okay, let's go. 
A shadow figure can be seen standing behind Jen in the reflection on the TV screen. She quickly spins around, but there's no one there. Then as Jen is looking out the window, another figure can be seen darting past the hallway right behind her. A loud bang frightens both Jen and her cat. And with that, she has had enough. Jen decides to just collect her pets and leave. So what do you think is going on at Jen's farm in Pennsylvania? Jen explains that she is currently seeking help from paranormal professionals as she can't move out and wants her family to be safe. You can watch all of Jen's paranormal experiences over on her TikTok page, Jay Barari. Resident. Japanese paranormal channel The Fourth Wall has been following the chilling story of an allegedly haunted house in Japan. This supposedly cursed home was once owned by a man named Suzuki, who moved into the house with his wife and young daughter. Over the following year, Suzuki began to behave very strangely. One day, he told his neighbor that he was horribly sad and grief-stricken because his wife and daughter had taken their own lives. Ooh. The neighbor did his best to console poor Suzuki over his devastating loss. But the thing is, the neighbor later found out that Suzuki's wife and daughter were still very much alive. Ooh, go, go. They had never taken their own lives and in fact, they were still living in the house with Suzuki. Well, ba't niya sinabing nagpakamatay yung asawa at anak niya? Anong yan? Baliw ang putik na yan. Pinagsabi sa mga kapitbahay, asawa at anak niya nagpakamatay daw. Yung pala kasama niya pa rin naninirahan doon sa bahay. But, ironically, only a few days later, it was actually Suzuki who took his own life. Tapos siya na yung nagpakamatay. He was found hanging yan. in an upstairs closet. Kago. His wife and daughter moved out of the house soon after. The next owner of the house claimed that he experienced extreme paranormal activity in the home and that he even saw the ghost of Suzuki wandering the house. He moved out of the home after only a few months. Now cut to present day and a guy named Megaro heard about the home's alleged supernatural activity and was so intrigued that he decided to move into the house so that he could study and document the alleged paranormal events firsthand. It was probably a huge mistake. Megaro sets up static cameras to record the upstairs rooms and almost immediately, he begins to experience strange activity in the house. Naintriga lang siya kaya siya lumipat dyan. Naka nang yan. Ang pangit ng history ng bahay. Gago. Huling huli sa camera, naka nang ngayon o. Putik na mabuks na. Ay, nakakatakot ang putik na yan. Nambibigla ka. Shit. Iba, But now, na. the paranormal activity in the house doesn't seem to be limited to just the bedroom closet. Naku po. Meguro sets up another security camera to monitor the bathroom area. And a few nights later, he catches this. Watch closely. Ako po, watch closely. Lumayo-layo tayo pag closely. Oh, sumarang pinto. Gago, may tao na sa loob, hala. Kitang kita, oh. Kaks, di na yan. Haunted house nga talaga yan. The water in the bathroom turns on by itself and then the door closes. But most chilling of all, we see some odd white shape that seems to be moving behind the closed bathroom door. Meguro is alerted to the movement by his camera monitoring app. He goes to check the bathroom, but finds nothing there. 
Maliit lang yung Meanwhile, CR. Meanwhile, the paranormal activity in Megaro's upstairs bedroom has begun to intensify as well. Maliit lang yung CR na kanang yan. Kanang yan, nakabukas na yung cabinet. Ayup na yan, talaga nagpapatay ka pa ng ilaw pag natutulog ha. mas kakaiba to As Megaro walks into the room and turns off the light, we can actually see the closet door open slightly all on its own. And then we hear those strange bangs from the closet again. Jen Over the following eh. week, Megaro begins to hear the closet sounds more often. And then late one night, Megaro is having a smoke in the other bedroom before retiring for the night. His static cameras record something absolutely horrifying. Which is horrifying. na, Hindi na chilling, ha? horrifying. Na. Oh, gago, may nakatayo. Hala, hala, hala. Shit. Oh, huwag ka magpatay ng ilaw. Oh, gago, gago, may nakatayo. As Miguel turns off the light in each room, and just before the security camera changes over to night vision, we see a strange dark shape just standing in the room. First in one bedroom, and then the odd figure seems to follow Meguro to the second bedroom. Shit. So could this be the ghost of Suzuki? Or is it something even more sinister? Oof, ja. You decide. To check out the full series with English subtitles, head over to the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. Hospital of Horrors. Hospital Indonesian of horrors. paranormal explorer Chu from the YouTube channel Knob Team Explorer often travels to remote abandoned locations in Indonesia to broadcast his adventures live on YouTube. Ito lang ang problema ko sa ibang Indonesian videos. Marami na ako nakikita mga uh, ghost hunter. Isang beses nanood ako, no? Alam, alam mong peke, kaya hindi ko na binibigyan ng reaction dito. Pero ito, since nakasama sa video ni Nux, panoorin natin. This time, he finds himself at the ruins of Arsetto Hospital, located near the city of Solo in central Java, Indonesia. Arsetto Hospital was built back in 1915 and has been abandoned for over 20 years. It is said that long ago, a Dutch nurse at the hospital tragically ended her own life and was found hanging in a hospital room. To this day, both patients and visitors claim to have seen her unhappy spirit roaming the hospital halls. Locals also claim that the hospital was forced to close its doors after many patients began to complain that they had seen the terrifying ghosts of those who had passed away in the hospital. Pucha, yun ang reason kaya isinara yung hospital, mga tol. Hindi dahil sa nalugi o dahil na bankrupt. Ang reason kaya inabandon na yung hospital dahil yung mga pasyente nagre-reklamo na na nakakakita sila ng mga multo. Naka nang yan, dun pa lang sa kwento, nakakatakot na eh. In the beginning of the live exploration, Chu doesn't seem to be bothered by the ghost stories and even taunts the spirits to try to get them Mahala to show themselves. Man, no. He makes jokes, he laughs, and just generally acts a bit goofy. But then, he suddenly hears a sound that puts him in a much more serious mood. Oh, ano yun? Shit. Hala? Kago nakakatakot yung lugar. Ah. Ada suara? Nakakatakot yung lugar. Hello? Ada suara? Di ini, 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 di, di pintu ini, teman-teman. Uy, puti ka na yun. Eh, tar dulu, ada suara itu. Merinding gua. Coba hindi niya napansin. Tar dulu, tar dulu, tar dulu, tar dulu. Ada suara, ada suara. 
ada suara dari 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 pintu dari pintu dari pintu Sumpah. dari pintu di pintu ada yang gedor gedor co The pintu. sound of a shaking door can be heard and when Chu pans his camera around two creepy oh, legs tekan. can be seen hanging from Fabi the decaying eh, hospital no. rooftop Chu doesn't notice the legs Shit. but when he goes back seconds later there's nothing there Now keep in mind Chu is live streaming his investigation live stream. proven by the fact that he actually interacts with his live stream audience and the live audience saw the hanging legs and starts Shit, flooding his live stream with messages it kind of seems to freak him out Aku mulai panik cok tadi ada kaki ada kaki kaki apa putik men huling huli sa kaki siapa cok Hah? Ya, jangan nakut-nakutin ya. Ini aku baru masuk loh, guys. Bocah nak live sya. Hah? Kaki kaki siapa? Unaware of what he has captured, Chu Shit. continues to explore and begins joking around again. Well, at least he jokes until <laughs> some. Nagulat tahu semuanya putik. Ala <laughs> umul tuh putik nen. Nagulat tahu sebab mukanya nak nangin balik nanti. Hayup na yan no. Nakakatakot na ako eh. Unaware of what he has captured, Chu continues to explore and begins joking around again. Ooh. Well, at Ooh. least Ooh. he jokes Ooh. until something shocks him to his core. Ay po siya. Uh. Ya udah kita lanjut aja ya, teman-teman ya. Oh, ya, oh ya, may apa tayo. Eh, eh. Gago tak bu siya. Popo, A small gray figure can be seen standing right in front of him. Shocked by the terrifying little humanoid shape, he turns and hurries away in the opposite direction. But when he turns around, whoever or whatever was there is now gone. Chu finally starts to take his own investigation very seriously and starts scouting the area in search of the mysterious figure he captured on camera. What happens next? Is truly bizarre. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? What is this? Hey, 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 what Ada ada yang masuk dari di sini teman-teman. A- ada yang masuk dari sini selebet gitu. A- ada yang masuk dari sini teman-teman selebet gitu. Oh. Yang yang enak kabahan aku. Pak Abid lah membulaga. Aduh. A figure that looks like a young girl moves out of sight behind a wall on the left. But that's not all. Because did you see it? Even the explorer Chu doesn't notice, but there is also a second large dark figure watching him from the weeds on the right. Both of these figures seem to simply disappear into thin air on the live stream. So are these the spirits of patients whose souls were never able to leave the hospital grounds? Shit. Is this creepy hanging apparition the spirit of the Dutch nurse who tragically took her own life? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Thanks so much for watching. My upload schedule is all Ooh. messed up. The- all right, all right, all right. Eh, mga kapatid, ah. Uh... Ano nang natakot ako doon, nagulat ako doon sa pagmumuha niya. Pero anyway, nakakatakot tong video ngayon ni Sir Nox ha. Ano nang yan, ewan ko kinilibutan din kayo mga tol. Lalo na yung nadaanan yung naka, nakabitin, no? yung paa lang yung nakita. Shit. Magtatayo ang mga balahibo ko. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo mga tol. Kung gusto nyo pa mga, makanood ng mga ganitong klaseng videos, huwag nyo kakalimutan na mag-subscribe. Click nyo na rin syempre yung bell button. Yan yung katabi oh. Para ma-update kayo, ma-notify kayo whenever na maglalabas tayo ng mga ganitong klaseng videos. At syempre, dun sa mga kaalaman videos natin, no? maraming salamat. At yung iba talagang interested, eh, no? interesting naman kasi talaga yung mga topic. So hanggang sa muli mga tol, ako nga pala si Shobaldi. Peace out!